Hi there RV and camper owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at the line of propane tank holders. These are available for either 20 pound tanks like we're showing off here or with a 30 pound tank model it's going to be a little bit taller to accommodate for those tanks. They're also available in two colors, black or white. That's going to be the base. We've got the black one currently installed on this trailer, but here's what the polar white would look like if this would better match your particular camper or trailer. So on my camper here, I've got the 20 pound tanks installed. You can see the rod here. The only difference between the 20 and 30 pound tank holder models is the length of your rod here. So you can see here's our 30 pound rod. It comes up quite a bit taller to accommodate the taller tanks. The base and the other components are gonna be the same because the diameter of our tanks are gonna be the same for our 30 pounds. They're just gonna be a taller tank. So this is nice. With this camper here, I need 20 pound, 20 pound tanks on my camper to fit properly. But if I had a larger camper and I had 20 pounds on there, maybe I wanted to upgrade in the future, it would be as easy as purchasing just the rod here and then I could make that upgrade to 30 pound tanks. You can get this rod separately here at each trailer if you do wanna make the swap. And vice versa, if you find that you don't need the 30 pound tanks and you wanna to go to something smaller to accommodate for more accessories on your trailer, you could get the shorter rod to do that as well. So we've currently got it installed here holding our two tanks. We're going to go ahead and start disassembling it so you can see the features of it. The tanks are held in place with the crossbar here, so it does require that you have two tanks in place to hold them down. And the hold down bar has three notches on each side to allow it to accommodate slightly different spacings for your tank so you can ensure that it's going to work properly with your tanks. The nut here will then provide pressure to cinch it down into the base. So we're just going to go ahead and undo the nut on top. And we've got it on there nice and snug. We don't want our tanks going anywhere. This component will then slide up. Sometimes it's easier if you take your tank and just lift it up with it a little bit. And then we can slide this out of here. We can then remove our tanks as necessary. We're gonna pull the one off on the right because I don't have this one hooked up. On my camper, I keep the one on the left here for my inside accessories and I use the tank over here, uh, which is on your right, for my outdoor camp accessories. So here you can see how it attaches to the base. Now, due to the cross beams here on my particular trailer, it didn't line up with the pre-drilled slotted holes here that you would normally run your screws down, your fasteners. It doesn't come with fasteners, but we just use self-tapping screws. Now, it's no big deal if yours don't line up either. You just want to make sure you check with your tank here. So the bottom of your tank, you can see where it's going to rest. So I just set it down right in there so I can see roughly where that sits. And a lot of times you could even put a little bit of marks here on the bottom, maybe set it in some mud or something to get a little bit of a ring. And that way you see where it's going to rest. So I was just went just to the outside of our pre-drilled fasteners to run my self-tappers in to hit the beam, but also ensure it doesn't get obstruct, doesn't obstruct our tank sitting properly on the surface. Our threaded rod here simply just threads in. There's nothing that secures it on the bottom side because when we go to cinch it down on top with that top nut, it pulls it up and then pulls down and the threads hold everything tight. You'll have plenty of length on either side so you can really put it either way. It doesn't matter which way you put it in there. I like to put the sticker at the bottom to hide it. And now you do have a ton of threads there, but I did find that with, uh, with the rod, if you thread it in too far, that top piece that holds your tanks on may not be able to fit on there properly. So what I, what I did when I was threading this in, I thread it down and then I just checked to see what we've got down here below. So I really only need a couple of threads sticking through just like that. That's plenty of meat to get us a nice solid connection to store our tanks. And this will also ensure that we've got plenty of rod length left to be able to get those tanks secured on top. I've gone ahead and removed both the tanks. We can get a closer look at the base and some additional features as well as some measurements for you. You notice here that there's this diamond shaped cutout. This is gonna to face towards your trailer typically. Uh, and this is gonna to face towards your tongue in the front. And this gives you your opening to be able to feed your lines in as, and then bolt onto your regulator. Now our existing bracket and regulator was able to pass through the opening, uh, but some of your brackets and stuff out there may conflict with it a little bit. So what we've got available here at each trailer to ensure that it's gonna work with any setup, you can get rod mounted regulator brackets. So that way your regulator will mount to that bracket and it just slides over this rod. And when you secure your components down, that'll hold it in place. 
Now in order to make sure that this is gonna fit on your trailer, and it should on most, they're usually a pretty universal size, but just to make sure, it's gonna be about 23 and a half inches long by about eight and a half inches wide. So you can just make sure you've got that footprint available so you can get that mounted up for your tanks. And that completes our look at the line of propane tank holders.